Welcome to page three of Excel packet number six. In this packet, we're going to focus on functions. When is a relation a function? On this page, we've been given some ordered pairs, and it's our job to determine which of these ordered pairs creates a function. Our I can statement reads, I can determine if a set of ordered pairs represents a function. Remember, when it comes to a function and our x value is 2, and it produces an output value of 1 for our y value, in order to be a function, the 2 is not allowed to output another value, such as 3. 2 is allowed to only have one favorite. So this is not a function. However, if 2 outputs a 1 and another input value, such as 5, outputs a 1, that is a valid function. Both the 2 and the 5 can output or have the same favorite at the same time. So let's take a look at some of the problems we've been given. Number one states, which set of ordered pairs represents a function? Let's check out letter A. 2 has an output of 7 and 2 has an output of 8. That cannot be a function. In this case, 3 has an output of 2 and it also has an output of 3. That cannot be a function. In this case, 4 outputs 1, 5 outputs 1, and 4 outputs 4. Well, in this case, we know that 4 cannot output two different values. So that's not a function. In our final case, 5 has an output of 6, so does 8, and so does 9. Letter D represents a function. Now look at the remaining problems on the page and complete them on your own. Remember, if 3, for example, is an input value, it can only have one unique output value. 3 cannot have two different output values. This is not a function. However, three different input values are allowed to have the same output value. This qualifies as a function. Keep that in mind as you answer questions two through four. Please pause the video now and complete the work on your own. For number two, it asks, which of the following is a function? Letter A is just a set of values. And as we look at the ordered pairs in B, C, and D, we see that a few of these have issues. For example, an input of 0 has an output of 5. And next to that, an input of 0 has an output of 4. We are not allowed to have two different output values with the input value of 0. So that's not a function. In letter C, we have three different input values in our domain, and they all have output values. That one looks pretty good, but let's check letter D. For letter D, we see that 4 has an output of negative 6, 
and later 4 has an output of 5. That is not a function, so indeed the answer is C. In number 3, it asks, which of the following is a function? Well, certainly not A. It's just a list of values, a set of values. But let's check each of the remaining possibilities, B, C, and D. In letter B, we see that negative 8 cannot have two different output values, so cross that off. And in letter C, negative 5 cannot have two different output values. Cross that off. Check over letter D, and yes, indeed, this is a function. Let's finish with number 4. Number 4 asks, which statement best explains whether these ordered pairs represent a function? As we scan the ordered pairs, we see that there's an issue. It's right here with these ordered pairs. An input of 6 cannot have two different output values. So we know this is not a function. Let's read A, B, C, and D and determine which one of these statements best represents what's happening with this particular problem. For A, the ordered pair represents a function because no output value is repeated. That's not what we're looking for. That is not accurate because we already know this is not a function. And letter B states, the ordered pairs represent a function. And I don't even need to finish that statement because we know it does not represent a function. Letter C, the ordered pairs do not represent a function because one input value has two different output values. And that is true. So C best represents the situation. This is not a function.